so today I'm going to be changing the oil on my F-150 and I'm going to be installing a, a Fumoto quick change valve. Uh, the oil drain on the F-150 EcoBoost is in a really stupid location <clears throat> and it's got bad clearance. It was designed by someone who never actually had to change it without a lift. So anyway, it's up under here. And first thing we gotta do is get this cover out. These little turn screws, this is actually kind of nice. Just turn these. And in theory, this will drop out. And there is the drain plug. So we got a little tag in the way. We're gonna slide this back out of the way. These are still a little bit warm, so we need to be careful under here. At any rate, that is the target of our project. So I uh, did pull up on some blocks of wood to give myself a little clearance. And I am gonna do a oil sample analysis. I use Blackstone for that. It's a 15 millimeter wrench. And I'm gonna wear some gloves. So let me get under there and get this thing loose. We've got the camera in here and start to reposition that. And yeah. Alright, I gotta get a bigger wrench. Ratchet and a rubber mallet. There we go. Just to break it loose. a little hot. The trick here is not to get burned. Now we're just going to wait for that to drain out. We're ready to install this and there is a side that this bolt fits in and a side that goes against the crankcase. So it is important to pay attention when you assemble it. Um, I've taken a little bit of the used oil, just dab my finger in it and run it on the o-ring. Oops, did not mean to do that, but I'm also going to put it on the inside of this. Let me retrieve that. All right. Alright, so that's good. This is the exit side and the way this thing works is you pull that and twist and it opens and you close it and it locks and that keeps it from opening again. So now I've got my o-ring that goes here and we're just going to gently set this in place. Alright, so we got it in here like this.
So I gotta push this out more out of the way so I can get under here. And we're gonna hand tighten it to make sure we're not cross threading because this is an aluminum pan and it probably involves wizardry, a witch and sorcerers to get the pan out if you do cross thread it. All right, so that's, that's pretty much threaded. Grease gloves make this a real joy, but we're gonna get under here and it is not the same size. So we gotta stop and go get the right size wrench. But it's a 17 millimeter socket. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this to snug. And we're gonna go ahead and, yeah, it's already closed, but it's still dri dripping. So there you see it. If we open the valve, oil drains out. If we close it, it stops. We had a little bit of leak by there for a second. Unfortunately, this is a little bit trial and error to get it in here. So that's about where it needs to go. And we'll just let it drain a little bit more. And, uh, you know, future oil changes are gonna be just this simple. Open it up, let the oil drain, close it when I'm done. So I'm gonna let this continue to drain down because I've got some more stuff I'm gonna do <coughs> before I put oil back in. At this point, as much oil as drained is going to drain, so we're going to go ahead and close this. And we're done. All we got to do now is refill the oil, but I've got a second project today uh, where I'm going to convert to a remote mount filter because, as everyone knows, Ford engineers have never actually changed an oil filter, so they put them in the absolute most inaccessible place on the vehicle. So, and in case you're wondering, these Fomoto valves are, are warranted by Cat, Cummins, and Detroit Diesel for heavy duty diesel use. So they should be just fine on a domestic vehicle like a Ford F-150 with uh, twin turbos. And, um, you know, I've been using these for 10 years and I've never ever had a problem with them. Now, <clears throat> this one was nice enough. Fomoto sent me a uh, security cap which I don't think is necessary, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. And it just snaps in, I think it snaps in from above. And so this makes it, I think, uh, let's see how this goes in here. I don't know how this came in here. So it's supposed to make it where you can't open the valve with this in place. And that means it has to come in from the top. Although that doesn't, you know what, this isn't going to get installed because I just don't, I don't think it's needed. Um, it's got a spring that keeps it and, um, you know, it just isn't, that's not going to come out. So it, it can stay put. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and please be sure to check out my other F-150 videos. I have a playlist on the F-150 and I also would appreciate it if you subscribe and like my video.